In this screencast, I'm going to explain linear interpolation by looking at a graph that, in this case, is looking at the dependence of entropy on temperature. So for superheated steam, at 0.3 megapascals, a particular steam table only has values at 150 and 200 C. I want to know what's the entropy 165 C. So let's look at a graph of entropy versus temperature. So here's the value of entropy at 150. Here's the value at 200. I'm going to draw a straight line between them. Then I can read off the value of 165 here. And this is what we mean by linear interpolation, just a straight line between those two points. So... If I do the calculation, so the, the value then at 165 using linear interpolation is 7.149. Well, we can also use this type of graph to look at double interpolation. So let's look at the case where we have both pressure and temperature where we have to interpolate. So here we're interested in the entropy at 165 and at 0.36 megapascals, the particular table I'm using only has values of 0.3 and 0.4 megapascals. So, so we can read these four values from the table, but what we want is this value in the box. So this is a double interpolation. So again, let's look at a plot. So here I've plotted the entropy at 0.3 megapascals. This is the graph we've already the plot we've already seen i've now plotted the two values 0.4 megapascals drawn a straight line between them and therefore i could read off at 165 what's the entropy at 0.4 megapascals now of course what we want is the pressure in between these at 165 a couple ways we could do this Let's look at the case where we calculate the entropy at 150 and at 200 and at 0.36 megapascals. So here I've plotted the values by a linear interpolation between 0.3 and 0.4 megapascals. So I've calculated these two values and plotted them here. And then the value you're interested in is this one. So of course we can read this off the graph. And what we've done is a double interpolation. At first we interpolate it between the two pressures at 150 and at 200. And then again, a straight line for linear interpolation between 150 and 200 at this pressure. And we can look at what the value is if we do the calculations. So here's a table where I show the values at 0.36 megapascals, the values that I use to generate this dashed line. And then the value you're interested in from double interpolation is here. Well, we could instead have done it in the reverse way and first calculate the values at 165 for the two pressures and then interpolate between the two pressures, you see we get almost the same number. But remember, this is linear interpolation. The graphs are not necessarily obviously completely linear over that range. But the idea is we, we can help to visualize what we mean by double interpolation to find values in a, in a table where we don't have the exact conditions that we like, in this case, pressure and temperature. 